Hello, my name is Isabel Allen. I'm the project forester for Wakatoan, and I'll be walking you through this presentation about high conservation values as the first installment in an introduction to forest management planning and FSC certification. This presentation is geared specifically towards Indigenous communities in the Martel and Magpie forest areas with the goal of raising the bar on understanding rights and to have values included in forest management planning. During this presentation, I would like to invite the viewer to think about the values that you or your community have in the forest and contemplate how to best organize and represent those values. For some context, this is the boundary of the amalgamated Magpie and Martell forests, which contains Chaplow and Missinibi. It is located north of Sault Ste. Marie, east of Wawa, south of Hearst, and west of Timmins. So what are high conservation values or HCVs and why do they matter? An HCV is defined by the Forest Stewardship Council, it's FSC, as a biological, ecological, social or cultural value of outstanding significance or critical importance at the regional, national or global scale. HCV reports are written for forests to provide evidence that the FSC, which is the Forest Stewardship Council, standards have been met. FSC is an international multi-stakeholder organization established in 1993 that promotes responsible management of the world's forests with a market-based certification program. There are 10 principles in the FSC boreal standard. One is compliance with laws and FSC principles. Two is tenure and use rights and responsibilities. Three, indigenous people's rights. Four, community relations and workers' rights five, benefits from the forest, six, environmental impact, seven, management plan, eight, monitoring and assessment, nine is high conservation value forests, and 10 is plantations. I wanted to note that there are several indicators of principle three, which is indigenous people's rights, that pertain to um, indigenous people's rights and participation in forest management, which will be covered in a future presentation. Uh, here, I'd like to point out that all Indigenous cultural values can be designated as HCVs. Uh, for example, some designated values in other existing reports have been cemeteries, old villages, spiritual sites, pictographs, archaeological sites, fur trading posts, traditional gathering sites of traditional plants and berries, habitation sites, hunting camps, old mines, logging camps and sawmills, portages, and traditional fishing areas. So this list is by no means all inclusive and can be developed through engagement with local communities and forest managers. Since there's such a wide variety in the types of values, there are different measures that can be taken to protect them. Without the additional voluntary requirements of FSC certification, the regular forest management planning process, uh, which is governed by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry, or the MNRF, uses Area of Concern Prescriptions, that's AOC, to protect values or specific features of a forest. So the following examples that we're using are AOC prescriptions on the Magpie Forest. The scale of an HCV is dependent on the extent and significance of the value. So in this example, the hatched lines represent an archeological potential area which follows the stream through this harvest block. The red buffer around the stream is a 50 meter area of concern or AOC prescription uh, that was built into the forest management plan to protect the value. Any water crossings that are proposed to be built through this area must undergo an assessment by an archeologist before any construction can occur. Another example is nests of culturally or ecologically significant species. This image shows the center buffer around the nest that was left as a reserve during harvest, as well as the larger outer buffer that delineates a modified harvest, where a timing restriction was applied uh, during the bird's critical breeding period. Values can be protected either as no harvest reserved or as modified harvest areas with specific restrictions, dependent on the extent and severity of the value. 
In conclusion, uh, there can be value to certifying a forest, especially for the affected Indigenous people. Uh, the certification process can foster the relationship between Indigenous communities and the forest industry, including direct agreements. Developing HCVs can protect natural resource features, land uses, and other values dependent on forests. Ongoing communication is a critical component to the effectiveness of HCVs and FSC certification, as values are dynamic and there can always be more to learn. If you have any questions about the content of this presentation or would like to suggest content for future presentations, please contact David Flood or myself. And for more information about this topic, you can visit the FSC website using the link posted below. And thank you for your time and attention. Miigwech. <laughs>